Hi guys, Yasas Kekalos Tate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making another meal that's ready in 30 minutes. I'm going to show you how to make my version of a creamy Tuscan chicken, juicy chicken that's cooked in a creamy, luxurious sauce that's made with cream and sun-dried tomatoes, Parmesan cheese. The whole family is going to love this. It's perfect for those busy weeknights, but also elegant enough to serve as a main course at a dinner party. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to begin with the boneless, skinless chicken. You can use either chicken breasts or chicken tenders. I'm using chicken tenders because they're so juicy and they're very easy to cook and also you don't have to pound them out. If you're using a boneless, skinless chicken breast, you could slice it in half to make it into a cutlet and then pound it out a little bit to tenderize it and so it cooks evenly. But if you're using the chicken tenders like I'm using, you don't have to do anything to them as far as cutting and pounding goes, just leave them whole. Season both sides with some salt and some black pepper, and then dredge them with flour, all-purpose flour on both sides. This recipe moves pretty quickly, so you're gonna wanna have all the ingredients ready to go. Finally, chop a small onion. And then over here, I have some sun-dried tomatoes that are packed in oil. Just go ahead and finely chop those as well so that way they're ready to go. You're going to need about a half cup or so of them. Just go ahead and roughly chop them. So in a large skillet, I'm going to go ahead and add about a quarter cup of olive oil. Get out a little more. And get it heating over medium-high heat. Once the oil is nice and hot, I'm just going to brown the chicken in a few batches, about two minutes on each side. It's definitely not going to be fully cooked because it's going to continue to cook in the sauce later on. We just want to get some nice color on that, on the chicken. And again, do it in a few batches so that way you don't overcrowd the pan. That way the chicken actually browns instead of steams. I like to use this little screen over here on top of the frying pan to kind of keep uh, everything in the pan and it really minimizes the mess. So once the chicken is done browning on both sides, go ahead and transfer it to a plate and let it sit while the sauce gets prepared. So there's still enough oil left in the pan. I'm gonna add the onion to it. I also turned the heat off because the heat was so high, the pan was scorching hot. I'm just gonna let the onion cook until it's nice and soft. I'll turn the heat on in an, about a minute or so and I'll put it on medium low. Season the onions with just a little pinch of salt to help them release their water. So you can go ahead and scrape the bottom of the pan to release those tasty bits that are stuck down there. And as soon as the onions get soft and have a little bit of color to them, they're ready. Go ahead and grate three or four garlic cloves and add them into the pan. And just warm the garlic through. It's gonna take a few seconds. Once it's fragrant, it's ready. You don't want the garlic to burn because then it becomes bitter. Next, go ahead and add three quarters of a cup of chicken broth. It'll smell so good. The sun-dried tomatoes baby spinach leaves, about five, six ounces. Just cook them until they've wilted into the sauce. And at this point, you could increase the heat to a medium, medium high. I'm also gonna season with a little bit of black pepper and a pinch of salt. I'll also add a teaspoon of dried thyme, a little pinch of crushed red pepper flakes, half a teaspoon of dried oregano, and I'll add a cup of heavy whipping cream. This is gonna make it luxurious and rich. And at this point, while the sauce is heating up, I'm gonna add the chicken back into the pan. But before I do that, I have some shredded Parmesan cheese. You could add as much as you like of this, half a cup, one cup, then I'll add the chicken on top of that. Reduce the heat to a medium low and let it cook until the sauce thickens and the chicken cooks through fully. It's gonna take about three or four minutes. Make sure not to burn anything. Keep an eye on it. You can always add a little bit more stock, a little bit more cream to get the sauce to the consistency that you want. But keep in mind that as the sauce sits or as the meal sits, it's gonna thicken even more. And just like that, in under 30 minutes, you have the whole meal on the table. If you wanted to, you can simultaneously boil some pasta, your favorite pasta, linguine, spaghetti, Whatever your favorite pasta is, this goes great with it. Otherwise, you can serve this with some toasted bread to soak up that luxurious sauce. Time for the taste test. And I also wanna mention that I did squeeze some lemon juice on top once I put it in the plate. And it slices through so easily. Mm. The chicken is juicy, loaded with flavor. 
That sauce is so good. I love the Parmesan cheese in it. You can definitely sprinkle some feta cheese on top. The exact measurements are on the website, DimitrisDishes.com. Head on over there to get this recipe and a lot more. If you want to learn how to make a homemade French baguette, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us.